The GeoDIN Ground plugin provides a solution for designer and geotechnical engineers that seek to incorporate geological data into civil 3D. For design engineers, the ground often remains an unknown, and yet it is so important to understand what's beneath the ground in order to build a strong design. We are excited to show you how the GeoDIN Ground plugin works with Civil 3D. GeoDIN is a geodatabase management software that allows for a single source of geodata. Let's get started. In order to make sure the factual data matches the visual one, open GeoDIN and make sure the project data is loaded in. In the project data, navigate to Objects, All Objects. Once you click down on All Objects, you will see the detailed borehole information on the right side. Here you can see the location name, project title, report number, client, method, purpose, area, city, and country. This step is just to make sure the data you want to visualize is the correct one. Now open Civil 3D. In the command tab, type geodin underscore database underscore select file. This command will pull the database you want to look at. The plugin works with commands that tell Civil 3D to perform specific actions. Next, type in geodin underscore select underscore locations. A window will pop up with the name of the database that you opened in geodin. The project related to the database will show up as well. Click on Fetch Locations for Project. This will load the borehole coordinates we previously saw in geodin. Control plus A to select all of them. And click Save Selected Locations. The locations are now ready to be visualized. First useful command is geodin underscore draw underscore locations underscore with underscore lithology underscore opt. This command helps you draw the lithology with the different surface layouts represented by colors like clay, sand, and stone. You can choose if you want to use ground units instead of lithology. To reply to this command, enter Y or N. Another useful command is geodin underscore draw underscore surfaces underscore with underscore lithology. This command will draw the surfaces. Now you can right-click to pan in or out the model. Or you can use the 3D orbit to look around the model. The current view of the model is in 2D wireframe. If you'd like to see the model in a different visual style, click on 2D wireframe. In this example, we opted for the conceptual style. We hope you enjoyed our demonstration of how to use GeoDIN ground in Civil 3D to see what's below the ground. If you're ready to try this for yourself, head over to geodin.com slash civil3d.